So last Saturday, I sat down at my computer and I typed out this following post. I've just signed up to a Zwift race, 24 hours from time of posting, where all cats race together on my favourite course, the RGV course in France. However, it currently has no other riders signed up to it. So I'm putting it out there in the hope of filling the race up a bit more and making it worth my while. If you fancy a race Friday the 9th at seven o'clock UK time, then please sign up and jump on to the Renegade race on RGV. And if you're cat A, B, or even C, it would be nice to race you for at least 400 meters. Still very much looking for my first win on Zwift in Cat D, I had a new strategy. I decided to enter into an open category race, which obviously includes all the categories starting at the same time, with the aim and hope of keeping up with the Cs, ultimately ending in me dropping the Ds. That's, that was the strategy for my, for my win. In last week's video, I attempted a breakaway from about 2k out, and if I had a partner or the draft benefit, then I think I would have made it. I completely burnt out meters from the finish line. Of course I did. The person chasing me took what I did as a gift and went for it. I felt like I went far too early. The aim was to start with the Ds, try and catch and stick with the Cs off the start line, keep up with them for as long as possible, utilizing their draft benefit, and eventually, if the plan works, drop all of the other Ds, put enough space between me and them, ultimately getting me to the finish line and my first Cat D win on Zwift. That was the aim anyway. So I searched on Zwift for an open category race. I found one that started 24 hours from finding it. It was an open category start, category enforced, all the usual rules, and it was a mass start event. Perfect. It was also on the RGV course in France on Zwift, one of my favorite courses. This was perfect. These type of races don't come up very often, and uh, certainly not as often as other races do. There was only one problem though. There wasn't a single other rider entered into this race. I know this is 24 hours in advance, but as it was late on a Friday night, I didn't want to leave it up to chance and I didn't want it just to be me and just one or two other last minute stragglers. So as mentioned in a previous video, I want my first win to come in a busy-ish race where I be other like-minded but capable riders. I don't just want to rock up and win by default because there's no one else in the race. This course and race was perfect. Normally I'd wait for another race to come up, but this one was on my favorite course and it was an open cat race. It had an opportunity to race some Cs to maybe get a win on Ds. So I needed to fill up the race, or at least get more people than just me and someone else that fancied it. So I decided to make a community post on YouTube and announce it. What's the worst that could happen? This is the first time I've ever tried doing this. What happened next? I did not expect. Before I get into the epic race in this video, and it is an epic race by the way, I need to explain that I've moved my smart bike from the garage, where I've been using it since I got it last year, up into my office. I have brought my bike inside. So I'm now in my office, in my house, with the bike. I've managed to squeeze it into a relatively small room. The reason for it is I've had major technical difficulties. I've not been happy with the calibre of the videos that I've made because of my um, laptop. I've got the window open so there is going to be some background noise. The advantage of being in the garage was it was a lot cooler and obviously I'm not going to overheat as much in the garage as I am going to be in a 21 degree uh, house. So I've got the window open. I've also got my fan here as well. It's just off camera. You can't really see it. But yeah, I've brought my bike inside. I'm going to see if this works. If not, I'm going to be back in the garage. But hopefully um, this will work. The reason I've done this is a very long story and something I'm not going to bore you with now. If you watched last week's video, you'll know that I've had a few technical issues having changed how I record my Zwift races. So I cut my losses and to save time, I dragged my smart bike to the most powerful computer I own. So I moved it 
into my office, which is where that computer's based. That's it, it's boring, has no bearing on the outcome of my races, means you get to watch crisp Zwift footage. The only difference is the background for you. For me, the difference means I now sweat a lot more as I'm inside my well-heated, well-insulated house. Good thing I have an industrial strength fan. So I'm gonna see how it goes. If it doesn't work and I don't like it, I can always move it back to the garage, but this is why I am for the foreseeable. And I will say for the benefit of the video, it does make recording these videos a lot easier. So anyway, back to the video. When I wrote this community post on YouTube and Instagram and clicked go, I thought I perhaps might get maybe two or three other Cat D riders join me. That combined with the normal last minute one or two signups most mainstream races get, I hoped and prayed for a five to 10 mixed Cat D and Cat C rider race. That was the hope. I didn't get this. I didn't get 10 or so riders. I didn't get 20 or so riders. I was absolutely blown away by the response I got. The post absolutely exploded. My phone kicked off. When I entered the pen, there were over 80 other riders. 80. All spread across cat A, B, C, and D. And most importantly, there were 25 other like-minded cat D riders. 25 Deeds, absolutely unbelievable. And this was with only 24 hours notice. I also had loads of Cs to try and keep up with and loads of fast, strong and motivated Ds to try and beat. As much as my community post had worked, boy, had it worked, it had left me in the position I now had to beat some very, very strong Ds on Zwift. Looking at the stats before the race, some of these Ds do not mess about. So if you're one of these people that I'm talking about and you were in this race, I just wanna say you guys are beasts and I really appreciate you taking the time to join this race. I had to hope and pray that they didn't go too hard off the start. They didn't wanna latch onto the C's like I wanted to and maybe the B's and I could maybe get into a lead pack ahead of the curve giving me a fighting chance but I knew that these guys were not gonna allow me to escape that easily. I knew that this was just hope and prayers and in reality they were we're gonna go hard off the start line as well. Okay, I sort my hair out, blimey. Today's race is a new one. It's um, yeah, a new one on me. In the attempt of trying to find a race that has open categories, meaning that I can race with the A, Bs and Cs all starting on the same start line, I found a race that starts tonight at seven o'clock. I found this yesterday, um, about 25, 26 hours ago. I put it on my YouTube channel and said, I'm gonna join this race because it was completely empty in the hope that three or four other people might join. So that's today's race. Looking forward to this one. I'm gonna get on the bike. 74 people in this race. Uh, where are we? Go, what are they saying? You can't really go drop them. No, I won't. Right, go up, it's here somewhere. Pass me, this, pass me this. Renegade, here we go, go in. Now it was time to repay this compliment and go for it. It was time to race like I'd never raced before. It was time to have fun and give these D racers the race of their lives. Start ride. Okay, we're in. So we've got 70 plus riders in this. So we've got just over 10 minutes. This is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be very interesting. Hey, John. Right, I'm gonna go on Discord now. Okay, can you hear me? Good, that's right. You are loud and clear. I can hear you. Fantastic. Okay, this is my first time on Discord, so uh, I'm still trying to work out the uh, ins and outs of it. Oh, good, man. You are sounding perfect, so don't worry. Top man, thank you for um, for helping me out with this. Pleasure, my friend. Pleasure, pleasure. It's been a while, actually. We have been talking about you and bringing you with us. I'm <laughs> uh, looking forward to helping you with, uh, with your efforts. Fantastic. <laughs> It's going to be good. I'm going to be back in two, three minutes. I need to change my shorts because I'm more sweaty from the prior race. So I'll be back soon, okay? No problem. Yeah, no worries. See you in a bit. This isn't the end of the story. Of course, I now have to race. But as I was on my way home from work, just before the start of the race, I was contacted by Rob Bain, AKA Zwifty Zwifter. If you haven't heard of Zwifty Zwifter or Rob Bain, then check out the In The Drop show and podcast on YouTube. Rob is a co-host with Nathan Crake and Jake Sanderson. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'll link the show in the description. I'll also link Rob's YouTube channel where he streams all of his races 
They're a masterclass in tactics. Anyway, Rob contacted me and offered to pace and DS me along with his motley crew of Cat A and B Zwifters. Apparently they had discussed and orchestrated this after seeing my community post and they offered to give up their Friday evenings to DS, pace and support me to a win in this race. I mean, I say that Rob offered his services. He rang me, told me we were gonna win this told me to be ready to bring the pain before hanging up and directing me to his Discord channel. How could I say no to this? This now meant that I didn't have to rely on other unknown cat C's pulling me to the finish line and I was now able to try and keep up with a huge bunch of cat A's and B's who would work as a team to get me to the finish line in a time that might get me the win. As long as I did what they said and I didn't wimp out on the effort levels. So I then joined Rob's Discord, said hello to everyone that was live, Alan, Cademan, Darren, Joe, Lee, Marky Mark, Rob and RT. And there were many more that were also part of the team Paul Ryan to the finish line as fast as possible team without being on Discord. And yeah, we had a chat and we went for it. I've left the Discord chat in the video as I hope it's interesting to hear, but it's also entertaining as hell, especially when Rob starts shouting at me to go for it. Hey, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. This is going to be a good race. If you're wondering why Rob is so quiet at the start of this race, it's because he's on mute and doesn't realise it yet. The joys of trying something new for the first time is, uh, and obviously the nerves, is apparent not just in myself. So Ryan, I think we've got a couple of options. We can either go from the gate and um, we'll get in front of you and try and tow you. Okay. Or we can pick a spot later on where you try and get a gap on the rest of the Ds and we'll come through and try and pull you through to the end. But sooner or later, you're going to have to get a gap on them. Yeah. If you want to live this. I'm happy to do either. I'm happy to go I'm happy to go hard off the start. If you think you can get them at the start, then it'll be a fun little game of them chasing you all, all the way to the end. Should we, uh, should we go for that? Because that sounds like the most exciting, explosive, fun. <laughs> I've got to be honest with you, I don't know whether my nerve will hold <laughs> for much longer than just going off the start. What kind of what, what can you handle? Um, I can... Uh, so you just say faster or slower. Yeah, but yeah, it's, it's hard, it's yeah. Hard. On the flats, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I've got good endurance, it's just I don't want to kill myself and get to the aqueduct. Um, and then the aqueduct I can get up quite, but I have to recover and I don't want to have to then put a, put a dig in to try and catch people after the aqueduct if I've got there um, so it feels pretty flat for the first I mean the first 13 what is it 13k is flat and then the aqueduct at 13k um, so yeah if I can get ahead of them and get up the aqueduct ahead of them I've pretty much got the got the race in the bag Brian, for sure um, uh, what uh, we will be doing is uh, we're going to be a very good bunch. I'm thinking more than eight because even on chat on the ZC8 uh, with companion app, they're saying that they're going to help you. So don't worry. If you want, we can actually start from the start and you just follow the last the last person. The okay? Yeah, I will do. I'm hoping I can recognize you as well because obviously we're all wearing the same jerseys, which was a downside. Uh, yes, yes, yes. But you can have a look on the side, so don't worry. Okay. Yeah. I've got you marked on source, so I yeah. I'm just I'm just going to go for it hard off the start. These guys are going to try and stick with me. I know they are. There's no way they're going to want to be yeah. dropped. They don't realise that the game we're going to be playing today. <laughs> this is. You've got a bunch of A's, A's and B's going to be chasing you around. <laughs> yeah. All star. Anyway, it's all about Ryan. I better get in the pens. Oh, Hi, Rob. Yo. Yo. Man, it's a must start open category. So everyone is going to see everyone. Okay. So it looks like the D's and the uh, B's are in the rear pens. So right. So they'll be approximately in the The thing won't let me swap tops. Oh, man. It won't let me swap tops. Is it enforced jersey? Yes, yeah. it is. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, we're going to spot you. So Ryan's going to go flat out, out of the gate, and we're going to pick him up and uh, show him a good time. Yeah, man, don't hang back. The front is, the, the, the race will be lost at the start. start. Yeah. Oh, give the bees, man. 
Let's go for it. So I'm 101 kg. So what's that? That's just under three and a half, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, that's that's um that's max effort. We can do four and a half on the front, and when we're there, right, I need to do two. Watch Good luck, guys. Thanks yeah, for doing yeah. this. You're all legends in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I don't let you down. I hope I don't crash and burn. Unbelievable response, and one I was genuinely blown away by. Having made a video last week about how opinionated some Zwifters are, it was great to be able to now show the positive side of Zwift. Here was a solo wannabe, Cat D Zwifter, me, asking others, you, to join me for a race, and the response I got from you all was nothing I had ever seen before. I am thrilled to share this and highlight the huge positive community benefits of Zwift. Let's do this. Good work, okay. On Discord, I'd been instructed to go all out on the start line. Even though each of the categories start together, we were all separated into different cat pens. So I had to break free from my pen as fast as I could and reach the A's where Team Payne were waiting for me. Oh my God, 800. That's not their name, by the way. That's the name I've given them. Adrenaline was pumping, emotions were high from being being part of something like this and I absolutely went for it like a lunatic. And with this decent burst, I made it as expected. A lot of the other Ds also tried to latch onto the Cs and the slower Bs. The race was well and truly on. We then had an unexpected job to find each other. It seemed to be a lot harder than it needed to be. The Discord channel was alive with us all looking for each other like strangers at a clandestine rendezvous. What position are you in? Seventh. Blimey. I was trying my best to hold in excess of 300 watts to stick with the lead A's and B's. Team Pain were trying to cluster together and find me. <laughs> I wasn't great with the communication because I was so knackered. That has to be the hardest leading I've ever done. <laughs> Everyone, turn at the back of this group. Okay. If you get dropped, you don't need to worry about getting dropped because we'll, we can bring you back. You see the back, they go back. I realised I was on mute. <laughs> <laughs> like two go the race. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. I just stayed focused on staying with the lead pack. I thought at least if I stay with the lead pack, they'll find me eventually. Hey, you chilling, man. Right, I have a draft boost, so I won't use it yet. Maybe not a bad time, to be honest. We can't get the other Ds catch up. Okay, there's one D with us. Woohoo! Okay, what I'd say is, we go again, make sure this pack behind doesn't catch it, and you use your draft power up to stay with us. Oh, yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah. Is that anybody trying to get up? Right, I'm just recovering it. I'm, a, I'm averaging, yeah. I'm averaging in excess of 200. I'm just recovering. There's another D catching, so I'm just gonna up the pace. Are you ready to put in a bit of a push? Right. Uh, um. Use uh, that drop. Put in a bit of a push. All right. Okay. Two sets. Hang on. New bear eye. My phone's locked. They all then understandably wanted to push and grow the gap, but I was absolutely dying on my ass. That sprint start had an impact on my endurance now. I needed to recover to push again, but we had stronger Ds pushing to catch us. I really needed to recover, but I knew I couldn't. Really annoyingly, I started to get dropped at this point. I had it in me to push and started to, but then struggled and fumbled to activate the draft boost power I had. This lack in concentration, trying to get my daughter to move the mouse over to the second monitor and activate the power up, meant I then got dropped for absolutely no reason other than inexperience. The pace was very fast. I had to try and catch that front pacing group, but even with team pain helping me, I couldn't reach them. I had been dropped by the lead group. Yeah, I don't think he's up here. I don't think he's up here. No, I'm, I'm in 41st. Yeah, I'm trying to find Ryan. Can someone else push the phone just in case? I'm behind RT Kaboom. Yeah, I think. 
Is he at the back? I'm just behind, yeah. I'm at the back of the... What position are you in? 44th. Oh, okay. Alright, we gotta ease up the old... We then struggled to find each other again. I was in the middle of a suffer fest, so couldn't effectively communicate. I was gasping for air. Okay, we need to drop to Ryan Stewart. I thought he was in the front group. No. Okay, everyone drop off to Ryan Stewart, I'd say. They thought I was still with the chasing group, but I had unfortunately dropped back. Luckily for me, a couple of the uh, extra guys that were helping had stayed back and were still helping to pull me, which again, if you're one of these individuals on screen now, I really appreciate your support. Brian, if you want to jump out of that, we can bridge you up to this front group. Yeah, okay. If you want to do that now, do it. <laughs> I, I then made another attempt to bridge up to the lead group. This was brutal. This was a suffer fest. Hey, hey, hey. Right. I'm not. I'm at max, guys. Okay, you use your power. We're good. Use it. Okay. Okay, yeah, everyone in the front group drop back. Okay. There's a bunch of keys here. I'm gonna stay with them. Um, careful of Ryan, okay? Just be careful of him. I'm just gonna stay with this pack. We can make a time at the uh, aqueduct, so I don't slow. Because we're about to get drop, and then we've got options, but you need to be able to get over the aqueduct. Yeah, that's a nice man. Looking like a pro. We managed to pull back together in the flat middle section and we were now over a minute up on the main D group. They were still trying hard to catch us, but the plan was working. However, there was a couple of D riders that had managed to stick to the lead pack that I wanted to catch. And the rest of Team Payne were very aware of them too. You guys make it look so easy. Oh my God. <laughs> that was practice, man. We all felt this way once. Uh... We're not very good at ultra marathons, so that way. Oh. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ultra easier than this. Only <sighs> well, we could you do it. <laughs> Ryan, you're very privileged, my friend. If it was me, just now, Rob would have said, shut this up and cuddle, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> okay, so the aqueduct. We then reached the aqueduct and with Rob shouting at me to push, I got to the top of it as fast as I could and we moved on to the ah, descent. If you're in the front group, go past the Ryan's group. <sighs> we have 52. Yeah, I'll drop him back. And the turn to the guys. Let's drop the guys. Ah! Who's that? Ah! Ah! Good going, my man. Dig in. Hey! Three seconds to go. Nail at the top. Just on this corner and then climb down. Ah! Yeah. Get to the corner. That's all you gotta do. Get to the corner. Hey! I'm at absolute max capacity here. Okay, someone push out the front of the bed. Just a little bit. Well, then you can knees off, Ryan. This is the chance to rest. You stay in the draft. I managed to get a bit of momentum, tried my best to stop pedalling on the descent. If you're not resting, we're doing it wrong. As instructed to by Rob. Rob had a thing about not pedalling downhill, so I'm obviously obliged. Okay, let's keep that screen going at the front. Let's know how you feel, man. Right? Yeah, okay, I'm just recovering. Yeah, it's, it's still, still downhill, downhill here, so, so you should be able to do it with very little effort. Let's help out. We're not doing much because we can all pick you back up. Best thing is stay at the back, get the drop. Oh, look at the food, he's getting swept up by the train. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, we need to lift the top. The distance is getting a bit bigger. Six seconds from, the, from us. Ryan, we can go the full step. Uh, okay. Okay, guys, go. But the geese are in the field, yeah? Go on, you, you go at your place and we'll stand in front of you. Hey, Ryan's at the front. Come on, people get in front of him. Come on. 
The best thing about this race wasn't the attempt to win. The attempt to win was fantastic, but the best thing was being part of this unexpected team. They were so much fun. They all took it so seriously. They took it serious enough to help me, but not too seriously that I got off the bike a wreck and needed to take the rest of the week off work. Every single D, C, B and A that was part of this race made it the best race I've ever had so far. And even if I win or not, cliche cringe motivational comment incoming, even if I win this race or not, I've already won before this race even started. I'd already won. Okay, people get in front of him, come on. Joking aside, I really appreciated this more than the guys involved realised, I think. The best thing was that I didn't expect this level of support when I set this race up and announced it. I found out 20 minutes before this race started that these guys were going to help me. Looking at this race now in editing, it still blows me away that so many awesome Swifters and riders of all categories came together for a race to laugh and chat with one common goal. Overcome a hard challenge together while having a lot of fun doing it. Well, Ryan stays at the back. If you see him pushing past you, you go past him, yeah? Okay, yeah, these guys are dead mean. Stay ahead of him. One second. Very good. How are you feeling, Ryan? I'm dying. Good. That's exactly how you should feel. Come on. <laughs> Okay, Seriously, when it goes downhill, just stop pedaling. The draft and your weight will carry you. Everybody, come back to the Ryan. Come back to your leader. Come on. Very good. Mega. Ryan, you need to ease off on those downhills. Yeah. Seriously, you're not going to get dropped. Up, pedal, down, down. It's good practice for the intense scenes as well. The intense scenes are all about modulating your power. Okay. Come on, everyone, get going. I ain't stop pedaling when you're going downhill. Oh yeah. Oh. Can I stop pedaling when I go uphill as well? No. Uh. <laughs> this is actually ideal. Them doing loads of work as we're approaching the um, intense scenes. Okay. I don't actually know them very well. Does anyone know where the big ones are? Okay. First one, we then hit the rollers, or as Rob called them, the intestines, and I followed their instructions. He kept mentioning te intestines. I didn't really know what he meant until we hit the rollers. Okay, here we go. Ryan, no more talking. Jeez, stay with Ryan. Easy to get a gap here. Stay with Ryan. Any section is coming to low now, guys. No trouble. No trouble. Very good group, very good group, very good catch. See, I did my job here. Very good. Okay, stop that land. Ah, holy shit. Stop that land if you're tired and <laughs> you're going downhill. Okay, yes, it's, here's a, a, some hard work off. Hill is coming soon now, guys. What? The hill is coming soon. Yeah. Okay, this bit, Ryan, is where you'll beat him. I want to see all your best efforts here. On the uphills, you go and we'll be ahead of you, okay? Go, oh, no! Power up! No! No! Yes. Am I going? Well, not full in, but just power, yeah? The same power oh, as three minutes. Go, 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 go! Hey, okay. Ah! Go, go, go. I, I am, but I'm being dropped. He's dropped, guys. Slow, 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 slow. Come on, 
Right, I'm back. Sorry guys. There you go. Well done. Nice push. Smoke again. Last tail, last tail. Go on, Larry. Go on, Larry. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Hey! Oh! God! Have you still got a power? Yeah! Shall I use it? Yeah, we use it now. Okay. Go all in pretty much. Yeah. Really? Let's go! Let's give it a good drive. Go, go, go. Give it a thing! And done! Everything! Everything! Come on! I... Ah! Ah! Jesus! Ah! That's so bad. Ah! Come on! Kaboom! Ninth! Yeah, well. Ninth. Ninth out. Well ah. I think you'll find you're higher than that on so far. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. You, go, you guys are awesome. You guys, thank you so much. It's an absolute Oh, I mean, that's, you're awesome and brutal all at the same time. I don't think I've ever, I don't think anyone has ever shouted stop peddling at me before. <laughs> oh. I learned from the boss. I learned from the boss. Not peddling is my favourite thing. Oh. I, I won't share my video with how easy it was for me, I'm afraid. <laughs> I, we, we're all there. We've all been there. Oh, man. Do you know what? I wish. I wish I could have got that that official first place on here. I know, I know that's probably an impossibility when you announce it on YouTube. Man, I enjoyed that. Thank you so much. Oh, it's great fun. Yeah, you guys make it look easy. And that's it. What an awesome race. I finished in eighth on the scoreboard, but of course, several entered the race in D when they were really C's and were removed on Zwift power. But I'm not holding that against anyone. I'm sure some people did that just to help me. My official finishing position was fourth, just outside podium. And in a race this hard, I'd 100% take that. The people that beat me when I was looking at their stats were beasts of D cat riders. So credit to them for winning this race. This was a brutal race. Now, there were things that I'd do differently. I wouldn't allow myself to get dropped like that again uh, halfway through due to messing up with my power up. That was really annoying. I allowed that to happen. That was my fault. I'd still push the start as hard as I did. That was a great call. Uh, because it allowed me to drop most of the people on the start line and then they had to spend the race trying to catch up or their race was over. So it was a good tactic, um, but I'm not sure whether I'd do that again in the next race purely because I think people would expect me to do it. Anyway, cut a long story short, that was a good decision and I don't regret it. I think I should have pushed the flats after the aqueduct harder and pushed into the intestines, as Rob calls them, or the rollers as hard as I could. But of course, that's just hindsight. What I wouldn't change is the support I got. All the people that joined the race for the fun race on a Friday night, you guys are awesome. All the D cats that joined to support me, all the C cats that joined to help pull me along. And I especially, especially want to thank Team Brutal Pain, Team Kaboom, Alan, Cademan, Darren, Joe, Lee, Marky Mark, Rob and RT. You guys were fantastic. I am genuinely sorry I didn't get that win to repay your efforts. You have no idea how much I wanted that win. I promise you now, I 
promise you now, 100% next time, next time we do this, I am 100% winning. I've linked everyone's YouTube channels below if you'd like to go and watch their stuff. Pretty much everything I know about Zwift, everything I've learned about Zwift, I've learned from watching their videos and their streams. I've now started something. I've been asked a hundred times now since that race to organize another one. I will, I just don't know when. If you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, I'll plan something new and announce it there soonish. I might try something new or go for this tactic again, I'm not sure, but I won't share what I'm gonna do because I think that'll keep everyone guessing and it makes it more fun that way. Thank you for watching this video. See you in next week's vid. It was awesome, I've got to be honest, that was one epic race. Well done, my friends. Congratulations. Cheers, guys. Anytime you want to, anytime you need a, a render, a render gang, just uh, let go and I'm sure you'll find some bread. Oh, you guys, you guys are awesome. Cheers, guys. Cheers, enjoy that. Well done, man. Go, go. Bye, everyone. <sighs> Stop pedaling. Stop pedaling. Okay. okay. Downhill, downhill, <laughs> Brian. Knees up. Stop pedaling. Okay, these are the rest that you need. You need to. Pedal only when the gradient is positive, yeah? Yeah. Your weight will carry you down from your speed. Just stop pedaling pretty much. Right.